But first, topping our newscast tonight, new today, a bill seeking to hold California universities and higher institutions accountable for hazing is now one step closer to becoming law. Capitol correspondent Aton Wallace joins us now with a closer look at the legislation approved by a key committee. And he shares the story of a mother on a mission to prevent what happened to her son from happening to anyone else. It is a gut-wrenching pain of a nightmare that I can't wake up from. Maisha Kimball describing what the last five and a half years have been like for her and her family since the death of her son, Tyler Hilliard. His family says in 2018, when he was a student at UC Riverside, the fraternity he was pledging for hazed him, forcing him to run up a mountain where he collapsed, later dying at a hospital. Who's looking out for our children? Tyler's mother giving this emotional testimony in front of the Assembly Judiciary Committee as lawmakers took up Assembly Bill 2193, also known as Tyler's Law, named for her late son. The legislation seeks to hold public and private universities and community colleges in California civilly liable for hazing if the institution was found to have direct involvement in the hazing process, knew or should have known about hazing taking place, or failed to take what the bill language describes as reasonable steps from preventing hazing at organizations affiliated with the institution. This bill will make a difference. I believe it will help um, to hold those responsible accountable. It's a sentiment shared by bill author Pasadena Assemblymember Chris Holden. He believes the bill will lead to new preventative policies. Addressing hazing incidents before they happen. But not everyone supports the legislation in its current form. The CSU system and the Association of Independent California Colleges and Universities support what the bill is trying to do, but they make clear they want to see stronger legal protections for institutions. We intend to continue working in partnership with the author's office to find language that would be agreeable and come to the middle. Uh, at which time we will be very glad to remove our opposition. Still, members on the committee overwhelmingly voted in favor of the bill. We expect our universities to act reasonably in preventing these acts that are killing California students. The most important responsibilities we have as legislatures when tragedies like this happen in our community to take action. Hazing is still occurring in our schools and we just don't want another family to go through the pain of losing a child to hazing. It's, it's so senseless and preventable. And the governor vetoed a similar bill last year, arguing it was just too broad. But this year, the bill's author says it's much more specific and clear. And now moves to the Assembly Education Committee. Reporting at the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.